Okay guys, this is a quick video on the Grim Zippy um, on-screen display and what I'm going to be doing is quickly going through and trying to work out which components get hot and how hot do they get. Uh, so if you do want to use a heatsink, uh, we'll hopefully be able to identify where it's going to go. So I'm going to have it loaded up under um, normal settings as in, in terms of what you would have on an aircraft. So what I have is the transmitter. I've also got the on-screen display, plus over here um, we have the uh, camera's going to be hooked up and so will the GPS and this at the moment is on the Bixler. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool setup I've got here and that basically uses the existing mount and it goes in there like so. So there you go, that's another little bit of a tip. Okay, so we'll go through and get this apart. What I've done is I've actually cut this away on the back so I can remove this. Sorry, this is awkward because I'm doing this with one hand while filming with the other. So what we have is the uh, that little, uh, looks like a integrated circuit and also one up here and some of these components and we're going to measure these and see how we go for temperature. So what I'm going to do is hook them up to a little 800 milliamp three cell battery. Okay, so what we're going to do is start off by measuring this guy here and 43 and we'll do the back now measure this guy uh, we at about 60 then so it looks as though this little fellow is actually getting warmer than the integrated circuit are uh, on top uh, warmer than this guy, but these are the two main components and even if you touch them you can feel straight away they're really hot so um, I think you may want to get a heat sink on this guy and also on this one too well I'm not sure whether that helps or confuses but um, that's probably the best I can do and I assume uh, if we go back there you could probably mount something on here to absorb some of the heat because it's actually getting warm to touch over here too so if I get a temperature gauge onto there, and we're getting, what is it, 45, this is Celsius by the way, so 45 degrees there, so it's actually getting quite warm, um, where the back of that little uh, CPU goes. So yes, you could probably mount some sort of heatsink on this too, and that would probably do this bottom one here. But this one definitely needs one too. So there you go. I hope you found that useful. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.